Hello and welcome to After Reviews in English, another quick tale DR video where I take a look at whatever is I reviews and force myself to say something good, something bad, what I think is the best and what I think is the worst in an abbreviated format. And today it's the Maya Audio CKLVXD41. Now, these IEMs were sent to me by Hi-Fi Go by accident. Um, I'm not going to go into here in too much detail, but when I started listening to these, I had absolutely no idea what they were, where they came from, or what even what the brand was. But again, if, if you want to know more about that backstory, just check out the full review. I'm not going to bore you here. Um, so something good. Well, the the actual IEM's case and cable are great. Um, the 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 actual IEMs are sort of a, a 3D printed shell with this like brown and copper and gold sort of finish to them, which I think looks pretty good. Um, the case is a zip top round case that's a nice, well, I mean, fake leather, but nice, um, with a lovely plush interior, really nice case. And the cable is much better than I would have expected as well. I mean, it's got this quadruple sort of like weave going on and, it's it does a bit have a bit of a rubbery feel to it, but not not no really noticeable, and yeah, it's really nice. Um, something bad. Well, the tips. Now, these clear ones are not too bad. Um, I've actually used them for the reviews. So the included clear tips are not too bad. The include the included um like soft uh, foam ones. Well, okay. Um, and then these brown, these brown, sorry, red, red cord ones. Um, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but like the inside, they're not just not really finished well. There's bits of silicone sticking here and there and all kinds of things. So yeah, the included tips are not really good. And the packing is a bit weak as well, but um, there you go. The best, well, the best ties in with the worst. Now, the worst is that, these IEMs have a lot of things that would make me not recommend them. In fact, a lot of things that would make me not like them. Um, sort of like, there's, the treble's not great, the vocals are not the best, Like the bass is not the best. Yet, the best is that somehow it just all comes together and works and makes for an actual pleasurable listen. Um, I mean... The, the actual name of this review, the, the video in Spanish, um, on the Spanish YouTube channel, there's a full review in video format. And the, the title of the video is A Pleasurable Accident. And as I say, because they were sent to me by accident, and I've just enjoyed using them. As I say, there's, there's lots of things I could list that would make me not want to like them. But then listening to them, I just enjoyed them. So the best is that they're a pleasurable set of IMs. So if you want to know more, check out the full review. As I say, I go into more detail. Um, it's linked in the description or head over to actualreviews.com. And I'll be back with another one soon. See you later.